Hi, I'm Beth with American Patchwork and Quilting, and I want to invite you to join our free block of the month program starting April 1st. American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine is turning 30 in 2023, and to celebrate, we're counting down to our anniversary with a fun Blast from the Past quilt. This is a mystery sampler featuring 30 blocks, one from each year of our history. We'll release new blocks on the first Friday of each month, share a tips video, and also show the blocks in some alternate colorways. So the quilt finishes at 60 and a half by 64 and a half and is set in an asymmetrical design. It uses six, nine, and 12 inch blocks and will feature a variety of techniques. So since it's a mystery sampler, how do you select your fabric? Well, I've got some tips for you today. So when you're going to pick out your fabric, you want some different tones. You want some lights, mediums, and darks for the best contrast. So an easy way to see if you have enough contrast is to lay out your fabrics. Um, you can use the fabric bundles, you can lay out whatever fabrics you're planning on using and take a picture on your phone and edit it to black and white. So this will allow you to see the contrast variations, but you're not distracted by the colors themselves. So if all your fabrics are the same tone, you'll have a quilt design that looks undefined and you won't see the different elements of the design as clearly. So when we're looking at these type of bundles, the rainbow type bundles here, a lot of times this is a lot of mid-tones. Um, this bundle is a really good example of how they're all very similar and the colors are pretty close. So you're not gonna see a lot of contrast in your design with this one. And here we have a bundle that has a lot of darks. So if you wanted to use any of these types, then I would suggest finding some complementary tones to give you some more variation. And over here, I have some examples of bundles that work really well. So this one, you can pretty clearly tell because it's monochromatic that we've got dark, medium, and light. So that's going to work really nicely. And then this one also has a couple different darks, a couple different mids, and then a nice light. So this is a really good example of a bundle that would work really well. Another thing to consider is the scale of the prints in your project. So in order to create a nice visual push and pull, it's great to have a range of some large, medium, and small prints. This will add nice texture and movement to your quilt. So I'd personally mix in a little more on the small and medium versus the larger for this one because there are 12 six inch blocks, 10 12 inch blocks and eight nine inch blocks. So more of the blocks are on a smaller scale. So those smaller prints are gonna work just a little bit better for those. So how much fabric do you need of each tone? Well, here are the fabric requirements. So from the light print, you'll need a total of four yards from at least two prints. So if you want it scrappier, you can mix in more prints, but just make sure to have four total yards. Medium prints, you'll need three and a half total yards with at least two prints. And same for dark, you'll need a total of three and a half yards, at least two prints. So then for border, you'll need three quarters of a yard, backing four yards and binding a half a yard. And you could always embrace the mystery and pull from your stash each month for a scrappy look. I'll give you a little peek at one of the first blocks here so I can show you how we design the patterns. Each of the blocks is shown in grayscale, so you can imagine your own color scheme and it makes it easier to print at home without using color ink. Then we have included a large coloring diagram so that you can color in your fabric choices and a little area to put in your swatches if you'd like. So we're suggesting where to place the different tones, but of course you can customize this too. So this is a two color version, but you know, you could make this scrappier or highlight different areas of the block if you'd like. To further customize your quilt, we also have free block patterns in the six, nine and 12 inch sizes. So if you find a block in the quilt that you just don't really like or want to add to your quilt, no problem, you can swap it out with one of those. I hope you'll join us starting April 1st as we take our 30 block journey through the history of our magazine.